Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be just a real quick tutorial to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve in an Arch-based Linux distribution. If you have a Debian or Ubuntu-based distribution, I have a tutorial on that I'll put up at the top here and also down in the description of this video. But for all you Arch or Manjaro users, this is the tutorial for you. Now I'm doing this on Manjaro, but any Arch-based distro is going to work because what we're using is a script in the AUR, which is the Arch user repository. So first thing we want to do is open up whatever package manager you use. I'm using PAMEC here. So we'll open that up and go into the settings of your package manager and look for the settings to turn on AUR. For this one, it's just an AUR tab. You just toggle this on and then you have access to the user repository. So now what we want to do is look for DaVinci Resolve, we'll go down to AUR. So there's a few different versions in here and I'm gonna show you what these are all about now because now we need to go out to the Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve site. I'll put a link uh, to this site down in the description as well. But if we just scroll all the way to the bottom here, there's several different versions here. Now these versions correspond to the installers that are available in the AUR. So in this tutorial, I am going to be installing this one, the DaVinci Resolve Studio 16.1 beta, public beta one. Now, if we look in the list, we have DaVinci Resolve Studio beta 16.1 beta one, which is this 16.1 beta one. If you're doing the free version, you would use this, the DaVinci Resolve beta, and then download the beta version. Or if you wanted the more stable versions, you could download those as well. So just make sure that whatever you are using in AUR, it corresponds to what you're downloading. So before we activate anything on our package manager, we want to download the file and you do that just by clicking download now and going through the prompts and doing your download. Now I've already downloaded this just to, to save some time here, but what it does is it puts that zip file into this downloads folder. Now, when you activate this, it's going to be looking for the DaVinci Resolve zip file in the downloads folder that corresponds to the version that you're installing. And that's why we have to be so careful about those versions. So once we have DaVinci Resolve downloaded, we just click build, apply it. Okay, I almost forgot about this part. So the OpenCL driver, you wanna pick the one that corresponds to the video card or the GPU that you're using. So I'm using an NVIDIA card with the latest native drivers. So I'm gonna pick this OpenCL NVIDIA. If you were using a specific version, 390 or 340 of the NVIDIA driver, you would select one of those. Now, if you have an AMD card, I have seen reports of some people on Ubuntu-based distributions getting this to work in AMD. I have tried and I've not been able to get this to work with an AMD card, regardless of what architecture I'm on or what distribution or what drivers I install. I've only been able to get it to work on NVIDIA. So um, keep that in mind when you're going through this tutorial. But we're just gonna select the OpenCL version we want, choose that, it's gonna tell us everything it's gonna build and we're just gonna apply that and let it build away. So it's downloading everything it needs. It's gonna start building. It's gonna extract the files from that zip file and do all the install and set up on our system. So I'm gonna let this run and when that's done, I'll come back. So while we're waiting for this to finish up, I just wanna make a quick note about the paid version versus the free version of Resolve in Linux. This is specific to Linux, but the free version has a limitation where you cannot use MP4 H.264 files. You can't even drag them in. They won't play in the editor. In the paid version, they do work because the paid version, uh, because you're paying for it, they can license some of those decoders and provide them, which are not provided in the free version. Now, if you have MP4 H.264 files, you can transcode those to a format that will work in the free version of Resolve. You can use something like Handbrake, which is free, to do that transcoding. It just adds a little bit of time to uh, you know transcode those files so that you can use them in the editor. Again, that is not an issue in the paid version. I have the paid version. I've been using it on Windows for over a year and I knew with this Linux channel, I would wanna use it in Linux too. So I sprang for that $300 for that paid version and it was some of the best money I ever spent. So I'm only telling you this because if you try the free version, you have issues with videos right off your camera. Uh, that is why it's not a 
a bug in the software. It's due to licensing and it's not an issue that exists in the paid version of the software. All right, so the script finished and we are ready to go in our menu. We should have resolve now, DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna launch that and go through the initial setup. We're gonna skip the tour here. So it's gonna go through and uh, do a quick setup and then check your computer and your graphics card, make sure everything's okay, which it is there. Select our default location and whatever keyboard mapping we want. And then we're gonna hit start. Now, because I'm using the uh, studio version, it's asking for a license here. If you're using the free version, you won't get this and it'll just launch right into the application. That's all there is to it. Simple setup, much easier on Arts than it is on Debian, in my opinion. You don't have to load a bunch of dependencies and stuff like that. And it works really well. Uh, pretty much all of the videos for this channel have been and will be continue to be edited in DaVinci Resolve on Linux. This channel is using Linux for everything related to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, I hope you found this useful and informative and come see me in the next video. Looking forward to seeing you next time.